Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's for Teen. It's lovely to see you again, so thanks for coming over just to check out this very easy recipe. Now, in this country, we've got something called Greg's, and they do the most wonderful savoury filled pastries, and their steak bakes, and their chicken bakes, and their sausage rolls, you know, they're just all so very popular. So that I've recreated the chicken bake, and this is exactly the same as what you would expect a chicken bake to taste like but this one is big enough for four but you can make individual ones if you prefer but I'm going to show you how to make the big daddy because it's just so much fun so this is everything that I'm using here I've got some chicken fillets I've got some double cream just a wee pinch of celery salt I'm also using chicken stock salt and pepper you might not need to add that and then I've got some cream cheese I've also got some butter and then to thicken it up I've got some corn flour and also some water so that's it. So the chicken that I'm using are these wee chicken breast mini fillets. You can use standard large chicken breasts. It just depends what you prefer. But you will want to cut it up into nice small bite-sized pieces. So go over to your cooker and on a medium to high heat you want to melt your butter and then to that I'm just going to add the chicken. Like I said I have just chopped this into very small pieces because that's the way that you will find it inside a chicken bake. So just keep cooking this on a sort of low to medium heat until it's cooked all the way through and there is no pink remaining. Now this might take you about 10 minutes depending on how large or how small you've chopped your chicken up. Mine took about 10 minutes but do make sure obviously because it's chicken you want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So once it's looking something like this and mine is just starting to colour on the edge I knew this was good to move on. So to this we're going to add the chicken stock. I am using Nor chicken stock. Again, use whatever chicken stock you prefer. So you just want to make sure that's well stirred and then let this simmer away for about five minutes. And then we're going to thicken this up. So I've got a combination of corn flour and cold water. Just combine these and add as much as you need to to make the sauce nice and thick. You do want this nice and thick because we're going to be adding cream as well, which is going to bring it down and make it waterier. So make it thicker than you think you're going to need it. So something like this is ideal and it will resemble wallpaper paste. But don't worry because like I said, when you add your cream, like I'm doing here. It will loosen everything up again. You do want this nice and thick and creamy just like this because you don't want to cut into your pastry and it's all just going to come flooding out. So this is ideal. So to this I'm going to add some Philadelphia or cream cheese, whatever cream cheese you prefer. Like I said, I am using Philadelphia, so a couple of tablespoons of this and again, just go in and make sure it's nicely combined and everything is nicely stirred in. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is pop in a pinch, just a pinch of celery salt. And this is going to add a lovely background flavour and it just brings everything together. Now, I didn't need to add any additional salt or pepper to this, but give it a wee taste. And if it's not salty enough for you, you can add a wee bit of salt and pepper. But I was absolutely fine with this. So that's your sauce done. So turn your heat off, cover that with cling film and that will pre prevent you getting a skin later on. You want that nice and cool. So this is the pastry that I'm using here. This is just shop bought, ready rolled puff pastry. This one is from Aldi and I find this one the best and I've tried most of them by now. So you want to grab yourself an egg, make sure it's well beaten, go around that with the edge just to make sure your pastry sticks down. And then pop your mixture into the middle about an inch back. You want to leave a border because again you don't want it all spilling out. And you won't need to do anything else to this other than flip your pastry over and make sure those edges are well stuck down and the egg will, you know, that will create a seal so it shouldn't come bursting open. Just make sure you your edges are nice and neat like this just so that you've got the nice square shape and this thing is massive you can't really see properly on the screen but this will do four people so it's about the size of four standard you know chicken bake so it is pretty big the last thing I'm going to do is brush the remaining beaten egg all over the top and all over the sides and you will need to create some air vents or air holes so I'm also going to with a sharp knife Cut some slits into the top of the pastry. That way, you know, it won't burst 
in the oven. It's going to let the air escape. As you've just seen there, you know, it has gone down. There was a bit of air trapped in there, but now it's gone. So you want to pop this into the middle of your oven for about half an hour, between half an hour and 40 minutes. Gas mark 5, 190 C, until it's nice and toasty all over and your pastry is properly cooked on the underside and the top. Now, if you find that your pastry is getting too dark too quickly, you can cover this halfway in tin foil, you know, if your edges are getting a bit burnt looking, because mines were starting to get a bit burnt looking, but luckily by that stage, you know, it was properly cooked all the way through, but you can cover this in tin foil halfway, you know, if yours is getting too dark too quickly. And I highly urge you to give this a go, you know, if you do like the chicken bakes, because this is exactly the same, and I will show you in a wee second what it's like inside and you'll see the texture. Well, you can see the sauce there. It's just lovely and creamy and chickeny and also savoury. We love the chicken bakes from Greg's. I don't get them very often, but by doing this recipe, you know, we'll probably, you know, end up having them more often because the filling itself is absolutely beautiful and it'd be nice, you know, just in a standard pie as well. And we had some roast potatoes and green beans on the side, we had this for our tea, and as you can see there, this will do for people quite generously. You can just see that lovely filling in there. It's lovely and white and creamy, and this is exactly how it should look. So if you're not in the UK and you've never tried a, a Greg's chicken bake, then give that one a go because that is as close as you're going to get. So thank you so much for watching if you're still here at this point and a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and I will be back during the week for another wheat recipe back on Sunday for our family meals of the week or even back on Saturday for our wheat shopping and bagging but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you off us soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.